फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन एफ एस एम इज द टॉपिक इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन ऑब्वियसली द क्वेश्चन इज कमिंग इन माइंड वॉट इज अ फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन सी फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन और फाइनाइट ऑटोमाटा इज एन एबस्ट्रक्ट मॉडल डिस्क्राइबिंग द सिंकोना सिक्वेंशियल मशीन एंड इट्स स्पेशियल काउंटर पार्ट द इटरेटिव नेटवर्क सो इट it is telling that synchronous sequential machine synchronous means it will depend upon the clock period or the clock pulse after application of the clock pulse something will happen and sequential machine means we know that all the digital circuits can be divided into two categories combinational and sequential in case of combinational circuit inputs will decide the output in case of sequential circuit present input and previous output will decide the next output and that is a sequential circuit so describing the synchronous sequential machine and its special counterpart and the iterative network so it is having a time dependent phenomenon it is the basis for understanding and development of the various computational structures so that is known as the finite state machine if the definition is not clear to you let us go for one example that will clear your doubts and will give you more clarity on the topic so let us suppose we are going to discuss a uh, sequential circuit which is serial binary adder it is a very simple circuit you might have read this one in your digital electronics classes so that is our uh, serial binary adder let us suppose we are having two numbers x1 and y x1 and x2 x1 is having the bit pattern like 00110 and x2 is having the bit pattern like 01101 okay we have taken this one arbitrarily and one serial adder is here we know the serial adder that means one input one bit from x1 will go to the serial adder along with another bit from x2 these two bits will get added and the output will be obtained and that will be the z but we know that if you go on adding two bits obviously the previous carry should be taken into our account so let us go for such example so let us suppose this this is the bit patterns whatever we have taken we have written this one here at t1 instant of time 0 and 1 will be available there at t2 instant of time 1 0 will be available there in this way at t5 instant of time 0 0 will be available to the serial adder now please go on adding 0 plus 1 is 1 0 plus 1 means 1 1 plus 1 means 2 2 means 1 0 so 0 will be coming 1 will be the carry and that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, 2 means 1, 0. So, 0 will be there, 1 will be carry and 1 plus 0 plus 0, it will give you value 1. So, it is a mere binary addition, nothing difficult here. So, in this way, the z will be obtained and that is my z. Okay. Now, I want to represent this particular uh, serial adder. It is a synchronous serial adder. Why synchronous sequential? Why? Because it is sequential, because not only the present inputs, but the previous stage carry will also will be counted. So that's why it is sequential. And why it is synchronous? Because I shall apply one clock pulse, then one bit from x1 and one bit from x2 will go to the serial adder for the addition and that addition will also take care of the previous state carry. So that's why it is synchronous and uh, sequential. Okay. See, this is my transition table. What is A? A means that very state of this serial adder with the carry 1 sorry with the carry 0 sorry in case of b what is b that is the one of the states of this particular serial adder with carry 1 everything has been written here state with carry 0 and state with carry is equal to 1 so a and b and you know that is my next state and this is my present state okay see if i am at the state a that means that my carry my uh, previous carry is 0 so now if i get 0 0 then I shall remain with the state A. Why? Because there will be no carry generated and the sum will be, sum bit will be 0. So, 0, 1. So, 0, 1 means actually I am doing 0 plus 0 plus 1 because previous, is, previous state carry is 0 and here is 0, 1. So, I shall be in a state A without any carry. So, that is why I will be in state A and with the sum 1. So, 1, 1. So, 0 plus 1 plus 1. What is that? That is 2. 2 means what? Means 1, 0. Means the sum bit will be 0 
and the state will have the carrier. So, I am making a transition to state B. In this way, I have done. Let us take arbitrarily another one. What is B? B means I am having the carry with me. So, now here the input is 1 1. Then 1 plus 1 plus 1 means what? 3 means what? 1 1 in binary. So, 1 will be the sum and I will be remaining with 1 carry. So, I shall re retain at my state B. So, in this way, this particular transition table has been formed. The similar, the same equivalent transition system or transition diagram has been shown. So, it is my state A and this is my state B. Only here the state transition will take place. So, A, A, A with input 1, 1 will have the B 0. So, with 1, 1 will be going to the state B and the output will be 0. And here also at in one state, only the state transition will take place. So, that is my at B, if I put 0, 0, then my next state will be A and output will be 1. So, at state B, if I put 0, 0, my next state will be A and output will be 1. So, in this way, I have explained each and everything in the respective transition diagram. Let me show another one arbitrarily selecting. So, now A, 1, 0, next state will be A and output will be 1. So, A, 1, 0, next state will be A and output will be 1. In this way, it has been done. So, this is my transition system or transition diagram. This is my transition table. Same thing, but in two different representations. Okay. Now, that is my the basic schematic diagram of the serial ladder. So, I am having this clock pulse synchronous. So, that is why clock pulse must be there. And then x1 and x2 are they are providing the inputs. Serial ladder is getting the sum as output and the previous carry will be will become the next carry after application of the delay. What is the delay here? Delay is nothing but the clock period and serial binary adder. This is the diagram. But if you go for the generic one, generic where we are having say um, n number of inputs, we can have say m number of outputs. In that case, the same schematic diagram will be something like this. It is a representation. Same thing, combination circuit, clock pulses will be there. X1 to Xn number of inputs, I put dotted there. And Z1 to Zm, it is not correlated that if we have n number of inputs, then how many outputs will be there? That they are not correlated. So, that is why it is having the suffix m, it is having the suffix n. And these are, these are the outputs are there. And that is a particular memory device which will remember the previous output y1 to yk and they will be made available accordingly when the next clock pulse will be applicable. So, that is my circuit representation of a synchronous sequential machine. So, that is the generic one and that is for the special case study. So, you are having your full board work in front of you. So, if such questions come on this particular topic finite state machine, you can easily answer from this board content. Thanks for watching this video.